Yes, it's back, 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 back again. Get, get, shady. Nah, scratch that. This ain't shady. This is her fist and over, 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 aka your musical plug, creator of the energy force. He's back like he never left with another season of the Cha Cha Music Review Podcast. Podcast. Say what? Yeah, baby. So, Cha Cha Nation, tell somebody to tell anybody to tell everybody that the Cha Cha Music Review Podcast is back find the African sounds by bringing the best of African music to your ears, ears, ears. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and my amazing members of the Cha Cha Nation, it is me, a fist turnover, aka your musical plug creator of the Energy Force, and I'm back like I never left with the first episode of the Cha Cha Music Review Podcast, the fourth season. And trust me, it feels good to be back. I mean, I have missed this. I am not even going to lie. I'm so excited to be here. I have missed amplifying the African sound by bringing the best of African music into your ears. And without wasting much of your time, let us get down into business. The first song I'll be talking about is coming from Olamide and Wande Cold. And this song is titled Hate Me. And trust me, you cannot even hate me or even hate this song because when two musical monsters, when they collaborate, what you get is a monstrous hit. Olamide, as you all know, gave us that rap that made us fall in love with it and Wande Wandiko was just a monster on this beat. I mean, Papa was just giving us some NJ vibe. This is definitely, definitely a E song. By the way, shout out to P Prime for the production of this song. You really, really killed the production of this song. This song is a perfect E song coming from Olamide and Wadiko. This song is a song that a lot of radio stations will be putting on replay every single day. And trust me, you are also going to put it on replay every single day. One of the best songs that I've had in 2022 so far. And trust me, a lot of songs have come out in 2022. The rating of this song is going to be a 10 over 10. London-based Nigerian female singer, talking about Daku, is here with this new single titled Always. And on this one, she featured Ghanaian artist talking about Black Sheriff. And together, they gave us this decent 7 over 10 song. I love the production of this beat. And for me, I'm not even going to lie, Black Sheriff has continued to impress me with his ability. I mean, no disrespect to Daku, but Black Sheriff was just that sauce that this song needed and it came through. The rating of this song is going to be a 7 over 10, like I rightly said. Now, talking about instrumentals that is sounding alike, this song by Remini is titled Osu, featuring Buju O, sorry, I mean Benson, which is now the new name Buju is uh, bearing. Anyway, talking about the song, this song is titled Osu, it features uh, Benson and D Smoke, and it has a similar, you know, vibe to that of a whiskey big mood. I'm in the big mood, girl, I won't feel you. Now, it might just be because Buju was the one that took the chorus of that song and also, you know, took the chorus of this song. That's why it's sounding alike. But yeah, there is a you know, slight similarity. This one, I'm even sure about it. It's not my year, year innocence, I'm sure. But anyway, back to the song. Reminis came back with another, you know, classic hip-hop song. This song is also going to be on his soon-to-be-released album titled Alagato She Go Go. Yes, this is a 7 over 10 song. On to the next one. This song I want to talk about is a song that will definitely disappoint my junior brother because he's a fan of this artist, but lately this artist has been messing up and my brother has not just been, you know, liking it. I'm talking about Ola Dis with the song titled Yaka Sufi. Now, do not get me wrong. The instrumental of this song is dope. I love the instrumental of this song. But aside from that, every other thing about this song is really, really nothing to write home about. I'm so sorry, but yes, that is how I feel about this song. For example, if this song had had someone like maybe Zlatan on this song, trust me, it would have probably been a different story. I don't know why Ola Dis decided to do this song alone. Maybe he was trying to prove a point, but then again, this song, you know, didn't just go down well with me. The rating of the song is going to be a 4 over 10. See, eh? When it comes to East African music, see, nobody does it better than Diamond Platinum. Forget, that guy is the best when it comes to East African music. I'm talking about him. He is back with another song. A new song is titled Giddy. And oh my God. I mean, oh my God. The production of this song is just brain busting. I literally had musical orgasm listening to the production of this song. The drums, the flute, the trumpets. In fact, the whole arrangement of the instrumentals on this song is just crazy. And by the way, it also, you know, took a line from Whiskey, Show Me The Money uh, song. The rating of the song is going to be 8 over 10. Legendary Styles. Yes, the guy that sang that song. I Kini, I Saw. I see Snake Apple. Uh, da, 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 da. I remember you all know that song that trended, you know, 
some couple of um, I think last day was it was last day yeah the song trended last year anyway the guy is back with another song and this one is titled back to the 80s and i'm not even gonna lie this is quite different from what uh legendary styles used to do i guess it's just trying to show us that look man i have a lot of styles maybe legendary maybe not that is for you to determine but this is a new one coming from legendary styles and i have to say it was impressive on this song this is a song that yeah you might listen to it for the first time and you might not really really vibe to it but trust me if you listen to it for the second and third time is a song that will definitely go on you it has a smooth melody i love the fact that it has a very smooth melody and you know you something you could always relate with the rating of the song is going to be a seven over ten i am not the only one making a return as techno returns to the music scene with a classic this is a classic techno jam and this song is titled Mufasa and it was produced by Willis and trust me I love the production of this song I mean the continuous progression of the drums and then the flute that it laid underneath it was just insane trust me when techno hears a beat like this it does not misuse it I mean Ingo Killam and yes it definitely killed this song the rating of this song is going to be 8 over 10 Fierce Nation you are welcome to a new dispensation yes that is what your president Lecon is telling you on this song titled New Dimension and on this one, it features Grammy nominee Made Kuti, son of Afrobeat legend Femi Kuti. And together, they gave us a decent song that has an element of dancehall, Fuji, and of course, Afrobeat. The rating of the song is going to be a 7 over 10. Now, this episode might just be the episode of the returnee because this artist I'm talking about is another artist that is making a return after a long time of the music scene. Yes, I'm talking about Tesh Kata. And Tesh Kata is back with this song that is titled Rebel. And on this one, it features Blackbone. And trust me, together, they gave us a brilliant, and I say it again, brilliant 8 over 10 song. Everything about this song is just dope. I love, you know, how Tejkasha was able, you know, to sing and blend with this song. Although left to me, I used to feel Tejkasha was a rapper. I mean, I know I'm more of a rapper than a singer, but then you cannot even tell the difference on this song. She really came through. And of course, Black Bones, the rap artist of the moment, also came through on this song. Like I said, rating of the song is going to be 8 over 10. Now, one thing is certain. There is no way that you listen to Chacha Music Review Podcast and you will go to bed sad. Mm -mm. It's not even possible. I'm talking about going to bed sad. World just dropped his first single off his soon-to-be-released album. And this song is titled Sad Tonight. And it was produced by Fun Killer. And in the normal world, you know, element, it dropped another decent song. The rating of the song is going to be a 7 over 10. Nonso Amadi is another runaway artist and he is making his return with this single that is titled Foreign. And yes, in his usual style, you know, Nonso Amadi also came through. This is a decent effort coming from Nonso for someone that has been out of the music scene for a while. He came through on this one. The rating of the song is going to be an 8 over 10. Yes, I mean, this is one of those songs that... By the time you begin to listen, you know, go nowhere, you go take one bottle of wine, two bottles of wine, three bottles of wine, four bottles of wine, five bottles of wine. The song just the entire your body slow, 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 slow. And before you know it, you're already high on the song. Like I said, the rating is going to be eight over ten. Last but not the least is coming from Dow's Alice. And this song is titled Hold Me. Hey, I need somebody to hold me. Oh, yes. This song features Tiwa Savage, and this is another good effort coming from Dow's. The rating of the song is going to be a seven over ten. Another song that will definitely grow on you now other songs that you can check out you can also check out few keys with figo also check out simi with sari check out just things featuring tenny and dtg with the song titled martin also check out pokoli featuring black sherry bella smother and afa b with the song titled yeah you can tell me what you think about all of these songs that i've spoken about you can reach out to me on my social media platform across all social media platform it is chacha music pod let me know what is your take on some of these songs that i've spoken about i want to hear your opinion with that i have officially come to the end of the first episode of the chacha music review podcast season four so i come away with another episode my name will always remain a fist to know aka your musical plug creator of the energy force remember to always keep the energy positive before i go let me send my condolence to the family of south african rapper ricky rick who died during the week i'm sending my love and prayers to the family and also to south africa music industry and to south africa as a whole peace out Cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-